everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i am here with yet another tag um it's called the colors first tag and i was tagged by lovelia's coloring and i believe it was created by jojo's coloring nook if i'm not mistaken so lovelia and jojo's channels will both be linked down in the description box below and I appreciate you, Lovelia, for thinking of me again for a tag. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have my questions written down right here because y'all know I am quite forgetful. <laughs> and um, these are pretty much the books that I'm going to be showing for. It. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, before I forget, if you would like to participate... Um, I believe it's open for everyone, like most tags are, if you want to go ahead and do so. And I'm going to try to remember to put the questions in the description box. I don't know if I can make that promise because, you know, I'm lazy and um, that's a lot to type. Because, you know. But, <laughs> we shall see. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first question, which was, What was the first coloring book you bought when you started to adult color? And y'all know my og people what book would it be this one i know y'all are tired of seeing it and um i don't know what more to say about it this was the first book i bought in april 2017 which is crazy because it feels like i've been coloring for longer than 2017 and i guess technically i have because when i was a kid i was coloring but this isn't about that this is about when you were adult coloring so april 2017 was when i purchased this if you want to see a flip through of it and me talk about it i do have that video on my channel where i talk about all of my fabian Atanasio books i go through them and show you the pictures and whatnot so you can check that out more than welcome to do so but fabian Atanasio is one of my favorite artist illustrators i fell in love with her art style and I happened upon this one day because I wanted to get into coloring because I was super stressed out at work and I remember I liked to color and so I just went on Amazon and typed in some books and this was one of the first ones to pop up and it was like four dollars or two dollars it was when all her books were like two dollars and I was like what and so I bought this one and I'm not going to go through all of the pictures because you know you've seen them too many times for me to even count um if you've been with my channel and again i go through these uh all these pictures in another video and um yeah so this was the first book that i purchased when i decided to adult color back in april 2017. so question number two is what is the first supply you bought the very first supply i bought along with my alice in wonderland book was a 24 set of prismacolor these are pretty much some of them remaining I know my white and black are long gone. I ran out of those first and oddly like canary yellow and whatnot. I've tried to save all of my itty bitty pencils. Like I have some of the teeny tiniest pencils. But I try to keep all of them here. I don't ever throw any away. And yeah, they pretty much are here. And I just randomly found an a OG pencil. It was like dark green. It had rolled under something. And because my nephew was playing, I found it. But yeah, Prismacolor 24 set was the first colored pencil I had decided to purchase along with my coloring book and this is the case that houses my prisma colors and some of these still are some og pencils believe it or not from three years ago but um yeah they're my all-time favorite color pencil because before prisma color i never knew of pencils being buttery and soft because I'd only known Crayola and other cheap versions. And so I had done a little bit of research before I decided to adult color. Like looking at YouTube and whatnot. And everyone and their great grandmother had Prismacolor pencils. So I was like well they must be good. You know all these people can't be lying. So I decided to go ahead and get the 24 set. And then I think I purchased the 36 set. And then I got the 72 set. And then I got the 150 because they were kind of expensive for me. These are, I guess, technically on the lower end of non-budget friendly pencils. But, I mean, these are still pretty expensive. They can be. So, Prismacolor, my all-time favorite. And what I purchased, this was the first supply. And this go ahead and leads into the third question, which is, which is the first non-budget friendly set of pencils that I got. I guess these, I guess these are non-budget friendly because these can be up to a hundred and a hundred dollars, a hundred or more dollars for the full set. And you know, everyone who doesn't color thinks you're whacked out of your mind when you tell them that you pay a hundred dollars for some pencils and they're like, what? That's what my best friend, that's how she reacted when uh, she asked me what I wanted for Christmas one time. 
<laughs> and she was going to give me some Crayola pencils. I had already had my Prismacolor. And she was like, what do you want? And I thought, you know, I don't know. I just threw something out there. I used Prismacolor because she asked me and she looked it up. And she was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I mean, they're really good pencils. But that's question number two and three. This was the first non-budget and friendly set of colored pencils that I purchased. So now we can move on to question number four. So question four is the first hardback book that you bought. And technically I would go with this one, which is a pair of street style by Zoe De La Casas, Casas, I'm not sure. And it's not really hardback, hardback, but it's a good, strong uh, cardboard. And technically I did not buy this for myself. My mom bought it. I had just gotten a new job back in 2017 around the time that I had started to color. And, um, yeah, that was the job that was stressful for me. <laughs> and, um, I was broke. And so my mom bought this because uh, I saw it and I fell in love with it because I thought it looked so fancy because it had like this little um, bookmark and it had like this little thing that folds over. And I was like, ooh, that's some fancy stuff. So I got this one. And um, these are either Crayola pencils, I think, because if you really want to see some OG, OG stuff, it's from this book. This was when I had ink tints, though. Wow, that is really bright on, <laughs> on camera. But I colored this with Prismacolor. I did ink tints for the background. And, like, this is when I first started to color. Like, look at me trying to blend, you know. And I drew the cherries on her shorts with some glitter paint, if you can see that. But, yeah, these are all done in 2017. And I really do like this book. And I want to come back and start coloring in it again. This this is OG. This is me trying to do skin three years ago. Um, this is really cute. So, it's some really cute pictures in here. And I want the J Japan one, but I can't find that anywhere. But this is a really old one that I did with Crayolas. I mean, look at her neck. What was I even doing right here? I don't know. Like, look at this hair. I don't know. I was just having some fun. But there is a picture. I do like this. these, these flats, as it's called in fashion. Um, I do have a picture that I started last year. Wait, this is an old one, too, if you've never seen it. And I used some metallic Prismacolor on these jellies. And I had the clear jellies with the glitter when I was little. <laughs> this is an older one. I wish I could do this over now because I would do it so much better. But I do like how I did her nail polish and her hair oddly. I'm trying to get to the picture that I'm talking about. Okay, so this is really old, done with Crayolas. And it's a picture in here that I started last winter. Here's one that's really old. <laughs> um now i cannot seem to find it and that's always the case and i don't mark stuff because ain't nobody got time for that i'm too lazy I, this is quicker um it's a winter one that i started like last year and i told myself that i was going to finish it because i had an idea to make it a christmas page and for some reason i put this book back on the shelf and did not give it a second thought hold on y'all let me find it real quick Oh, here's a really old one, too. I think I did this in Prismacolor, but let me find that picture. Still didn't do it yet. Here is the picture. Oh, my golly. So, this is the picture I started last winter, and this is Prismacolors, I believe, because I can tell by the colors. But I was going to do her sweater the, the exact same purple, and then I have an idea to do for the background to make it more wintry. And I do need to go ahead and finish this. Maybe I could do watercolor or some ink tints. I think that was what I was going to do, too, but... Like I said, I have an idea for the background that I want to do for this picture, and yeah, I want to get to it. But there are a couple of wallpaper pages, but most of all, it's nice, cute little ones. So, I'm going to technically say that this is my first hardback book, but I do have another one, so sit tight. Okay, so I guess if we're being super technical, um, this is the first hardback book that I bought because I actually purchased it, and it's Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova, and she does have a new book out, and honestly, I'm not a fan of the new book Fairy Touch of Magic or whatever it's called. I really am not a fan of that one, but I do want fairy celebrations, I think, when I get around to it. The next book I give from her will be that one, but I hate this paper in this book, and I'm probably among the minority in saying that, but it's just too smooth, and I like to layer and have a lot of colors, and it just stresses me out, and I need to summon every iota of patience I have when I'm coloring on this paper, but I started this way back in... I think this was 2019. I can't even say way back. It was 2019 or it was 2018 toward the end of 2018 when I started this picture and I never got back to it and I feel like I made really good progress and 
I don't like the wood. I can say that. Like, I don't like this half of the wood. My blueberries and cherries or whatever this stuff is is okay. And I did, the last thing that I did on this page was try to add a little bit of glow going on. But, I mean, I, I quit because this paper is horrid. I don't even like what I was doing with this light. Maybe I can erase it out. Not sure, but this was one that's probably going to be a forever whip because I just don't have the patience. Um, I've done this one in here, and I think it's like some glitter gel pen or something on here. Ink tints works really well in this book because I did these with ink tints, and I use like five colors, and it looks... Like, it has a lot of depth and everything, so that's cool. And I remember doing acrylic paint for this part. I had started on pencil and I quit. <laughs> I was like, to hell with it. And <laughs> used paint at the bottom. So I remember that. And then I think I have something else done in here. And that's pretty much it. So, oh, two more things. So I have Jack the Quack done, which was in 2018. Sammy helped me name him. And I have this one done, which I think I wrote the date. Um, Sunday, June 3rd started, finished Monday the 4th, 2018. So, all these pictures in here are old because, you know, my patience is dead for these books. But, I did use some alcohol marker base, as you can see, for this. But, yeah, this is technically one of the first hardcover books that I did buy for myself. I love this picture, and I want to color this picture so bad, but, again, must summon my patience. But this is probably the first one, next one, that I do from this book. So, let's move on to question number five. And sorry if I'm rambling and talking too much, y'all. But, you know, that's how we roll over here at KP Colors Channel. So, you know. But let's move on to number five. So, number five is who was your first buddy color with? And my first buddy color was with Coloring F here on YouTube. Um, my first buddy color ever and then also color and chat with Sammy so this will be kind of a double one as well and our my, our first buddy color was either this picture in Peter Pan or it was Tinkerbell or it was another picture that I'm going to show y'all but our first buddy color I believe was this one between coloring F and I and it's the mermaids one, and I could put stickles on it because I did this other part. But this was so, this is so old. This is definitely from 2017 sometime, if not 2018. But I really am leaning toward my first year in coloring. And um, it's so pretty because of the stickles. And of course, you need an aerial mermaid. And I have my pride rock mermaid because that's what I call her. And this was when I was heavy into watering down Crayola super tip markers, like adding water to them and using them as a base. So that's what I did for the majority of this picture with pencil on top. And I think this is some chalk pastel in the background. And I still do like this picture. The only thing that I really don't like is her eyelashes because I did them crazy like you're not supposed to do with the straight line. And I don't like the sparkle that I was trying to put on top of the water because it just looks like maybe the water is polluted or something. I don't know, but I don't know. I was trying things and yeah, this was the end result. So this was one of my first buddy colors. And Tinkerbell was my first buddy color with... Coloring chat with Sammy and Francis. All three of us, we did this one. And Sammy, I think... No, I think we all chose it. But I know... I looked at Sammy's tutorial for skin. And that's Tinkerbell's skin. So this was me trying to learn to get better at layering skin and whatnot. So yeah, this is an OG picture because this is really old. And there is some glitter gel pen on Tinkerbell's wings because I did dots with super tips and then went over with the glitter gel pen which took me forever. I don't know what I was smoking but apparently I felt <laughs> I felt in the mood to do that and there's also some glitter gel pen on like these yellow leaves and probably like some of the green. But yeah, I still really like this picture and I gave her some gladiator sandals. So yeah, she has freckles like me so it's really cute. But yeah, this was one of the first buddy colors I did and I have one more because I could not really decide because I don't write things down and keep track but I'm pretty sure this is one of the first buddy colors that I did as well so hold tight so this counts to me as one of the first buddy colors that I did because I remember this was one of the first ones I did with coloring F and we chose this one and I'm still super proud of this picture because I love how I did the background I cut out a piece of paper I cut out a heart shape in it and just used it as a template or a stencil 
and use chalk pastel in the background and I love how I did the queen because I made her face a little pale with her skin showing like maybe she's like Elizabethan and she's wearing the face makeup and I just you know I added so much Posca and I drew little hearts on here um, I love how the king looks he just looks so cool and there is some stickles and bits of his crown but I still really love this picture and it's one of my favorites even if it's an earlier one because I simply love all the details in it so yeah those are my first buddy colors <laughs> and um, we will go ahead and move on to question number six so number six is the first color tube channel I started watching so the first color tube channel that I started watching was reading with pugs and if you're not subscribed to Jen's channel, you definitely should be because she's awesome sauce. And she's the OG in the game to me because she's she's one of the first channels I discovered when I decided to start adult coloring. I don't know, I just happened upon it on YouTube because before I bought my first coloring book, and like I said, I was doing a little bit of research, quote unquote, to find pencils. Her channel popped up and I fell in love with her accent and her nails and her little baby in the background. And, you know that was all she wrote for that and then because of Jen I started watching Dee Dee, Dee Dee Willingham and she's an amazing artist please subscribe to her if you don't know who she is and yeah I just fell down the rabbit hole and then also because of Jen I I joined her Facebook group and it's a colorist group uh, and I really never knew about the coloring community and how like involved people really were until I joined that and I was like oh lots of people are doing this this is cool and so you get inspiration and you get to know when new books are coming out and new stuff so it all was just so helpful when I first started to color so Jen Reading with Pugs and then Dee Dee Willingham were the first two color tube channels that I started watching um when I got into this game so um Wheel okay, number seven is the first page you color. So again, I think I know y'all are sick and tired of seeing this book, but what can I say? So it's from Alice in Wonderland um, by Fabiana Altanasio. And this is one of the first pages that I color. And I know it's ambitious because it's a double page spread. And I think I need to turn my light down because it is too bright. Um, yeah, this was one of the first pages that I colored, and this was a mixture of Crayolas and Prisma, because I can tell all of this is Prisma color, because I was trying to learn how to blend and everything, and the skin, his skin is Crayola, I don't know what her skin is, but she looks sick, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing around her eyes and stuff, but I still do love this picture, it has a special place in my heart, because it's one of the first pictures that I colored, and then another first picture that I colored, because I can't remember which one I did first, it was the Mad Hatter one, and I had a lot of fun with this. And this was a mix of Crayola and Prismacolor as well. And then this was me learning to blend with my Prismas. Like doing this orange and yellow blend. And I was super proud of myself. And I remember being super proud of myself about this part blending. And then the background. Even though these are not even blended the best. I was proud of that. And I still like him. He's cool. And I do have another copy of this book. So that I can go to town and do all of the pictures over because this book has a ton of pictures that I colored in it already so maybe this will be the first time not the first time the last time that y'all will see this book in this video so let's move on to question number eight so question number eight is what was the first portrait picture that you color and I'm gonna go with this one to the best of my recollection which is called Sweet Tooth by Michael Jelena and I didn't write any date down but I did use a little bit of brown alcohol marker for some things and then all of this was pencil and I had so much fun coloring this and this was my first time like coloring a big skin area like this and so close up and whatnot and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed learning to do like hair strokes because that was me trying to learn to do that. And y'all know I, I've always since jump apparently loved to color food. So I have food like candy here which was really fun for me to do. Very enjoyable. I have some stickles here and there like on her earrings and this bow right here and then her little bustier top really cool and then I love how I did her tattoos like real tattoos like heavy grayscale so yeah this was one of the first portraits that I color if not the first one um to this extent and I still am really proud of it so there we go we're going to move on to question number nine
So question number nine is what was the first grayscale picture that you color? And I'm late to the grayscale game because grayscale never appealed to me. It still really does not. Um, I love to see grayscale. It's beautiful by itself before you color it. It's even more prettier when you color it. Um, I, I admire the art, but I just always thought it wasn't for me. But I do have a couple of light grayscale books and... This is my first grayscale book, and I purchased this this year, I think in 2020. I'm pretty sure, if memory doesn't fail me, but it always does. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, because that's when this came out. And this year has just been crazy. I mean, who knows even what's happening. But um, this is Elegant Beauties by Elena Lazareva, and... I colored this image in here and this book is a grayscale book like this is more grayscale than any other book that I own so this is like actual grayscale because the other book that I had that says it's grayscale is really light and you you can't really tell so yeah I really need to get back to this this book this looks like Beyonce y'all like I found a picture of Beyonce and if I remember I will pop it up in the video and I'm going to color her like Beyonce Maybe. I don't know. Because I don't know how to do that skin tone. But, you know, it'll be fun to figure out. Because you get two copies of each image. So, if I screw it up, I can do it again. But, I swear she looks like Beyonce. But, um, yeah, this book is so pretty. And I really need to get another one done out of here. But, this is my first grayscale picture that I colored. Okay, so, for the last two questions, I don't have... <laughs> really um number 10 is what was the first ever completed book and out of three years of coloring you would think i completed a book i have not not even close to completing a book um so that is still on to on the to-do list although it's not something that i'm really trying to do i'm just enjoying my journey and enjoying coloring the things that i color so that's not really on a high priority on the list and then the bonus question is what was the first coloring tag you participated in and I want to say the first coloring tag that I participated in was the desert island tag where it was like the top five or top ten books you would bring to a desert island now that video is no longer on my channel because I used to have so many more videos those who don't know new subscribers and whatnot um before this thing called this child online protection thing happened January this year and I deleted all of my content but that was the first tag that I participated in and I actually had a video for it many moons ago but yeah and i think i was tagged in that tag by jen reading with pugs if i'm not mistaken but that was the first tag that um the first coloring tag that i participated in so that was my video for the colorist first tag thank you again lovelia for thinking of me thanks to jojo for creating it and um this was interesting to do <laughs> because I, I personally feel like some tag videos can get out of hand because it's just so many it's just so many but um this one was interesting to do and i appreciate being thought of and hope y'all enjoyed and i know i talked too much way too much but you know that's how the cookie crumbles over here so i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and i'll see y'all in my next video hopefully take care